so yeah, I know I'm late this week. Sorry about that. It's been a lot kind of uh, going on over here. So, um, uh, so been playing around with these wall plane cap patterns that end in the stalls, and trying to do the same pattern, but bisect them the other way. Which, as you can see, it's come a long way in the past couple weeks. And I'm almost getting to the point where I can just alternate straight between them, but I'm not quite there yet. Give it time, though. Um, yeah, in other news, uh, a couple weeks ago, there was a gentleman who was commenting on uh, my anti spin butterfly flowers. Namely, that when I'm doing this cat pattern and I break out of it into uh, butterfly anti spin, he was saying that I wasn't doing a quite symmetrical uh, flower as I was coming out of it. Which, in the past week, I've been just doing ridiculous turn drills trying to get it to the point where those flowers are looking better. And then stuff and I realized, um, I think actually what it means is, so when you're doing a cap, the node, the place where the anti-spin pedal kicks in is straight out in front of you, right? So, rather than this flower, where the nodes are pointed out to the corners, I think he means I should be working on doing a flower that uh, will likewise retain that node property like that. Which, for all I know, I'm doing the exact same pattern, but um, the idea of using that node here, and here, and here, and here, which means more practice. but. I'm trying to teach myself how to do it by uh, starting with an inverted kind of pattern here, switching between linear isolations, and when I'm on the outside, switching over to the other side, like that. And uh, I'm sure it looks messy as hell, but give me time on it. Um, aside from that, I saw a cool video of Yuda doing these plane bending stalls, which I can't get enough of. So I've been uh, tinkering around a lot with those. The idea there being that uh, if you get the poi stall straight down, for all intents and purposes, it could be either this plane or it could be in this plane. So when you stall there, it's just as easy to reverse, or rather, uh, change the orientation of the plane. Um, yeah, so the same, of course, is true from the inside. Like so. Oops. Like so. Um, I think that's most of the techie stuff I've been playing with, but um, this time around I want to do something different. I know we don't normally talk about hardware on this thing, but um, we came across something in Richmond over the weekend that I thought was really, really cool. I've seen a similar design. DJ uses something similar to this, where he takes um, a squeaky toy and puts a piece of rope through it. Usually I use a quick link to attach um, doll's heads with a... Uh, which we call it, with an eye screw coming out of the doll's head. But you know, as you can as you can see here, what I've got instead is a piece of string. This is actually a shoelace that goes straight through the fishing swivel I have on the end. And um, this is actually just like the a furniture foot or whatever. You can get them at most hardware stores. You tie a knot on the end, and come on. You stick a couple washers on it to give it a little bit of weight. 
And I've long had a problem in that uh, the doll's head handles that I use, because there's so much hardware that ties them with, um, with the chain, it kind of hurt my hands after a while. But these don't have that problem. These feel almost exactly like my sock boy, so I can feel free to wrap them up around my hand just like that. And I don't lose any length to that wrapping process. Plus, which isolation toss is really easy with them. So, um, this is definitely a reading endorsement of this idea. I absolutely love it. And um, yeah, I suppose if anybody has any advice, I'm a little worried about the shoelaces. Um, I don't know, number one, if they'll hold the strain, and number two, there's going to be a stress point right there where they go through the uh, ring from the fishing swivel. If anybody knows of any good fire resistant cord that is going to be of the same size, that's going to worry less about it fraying and thus uh, have to stress a little bit less about checking it out before I perform with it. That'd be awesome! Cool. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I'll see you next week.